Did you just get the scuff controller? And are you having some issues with your scuff controller? Maybe you're like me. When I first got my scuff controller, I plugged in my headset to my controller. I put my headphones on. I was so pumped, ready to use these paddles. And you know what happened? I couldn't hear anyone. I would say that my, my headset volume was like maybe at 50% lower than it is with me using my older controller. So I was so mad, I went to Scuff, I sent them uh, you know, bad reviews, I sent them emails, I found their Twitter account and figured out what's going on. And then long and behold, I found out it was a real simple fix. Or maybe you're like my friend uh, Garrett Little here, he's having some other trouble with the Scuff in which, as you can see, my Scuff is currently plugged in wired. Um, right now, as you can see, it is working wired. If I unplug it, Okay, is working wireless as well. Now, his is not working wireless. So I'm gonna see if I can help him out or I can help you guys out. So when you first get your scuff, you first plug it in, the first thing you should always do that, I think that even says in the directions, is go under, you know, open up your Xbox, go under settings, go under settings, go to accessories, and as you can see, there's your controller. Now, what you wanna do when you first get your scuff controller is you wanna go into here and you wanna click firmware version update. As you can see, mine's is already updated. It says no updates available, 4.8.192.3.0. I mean so if, buddy, if you did not update your controller when you first got it, this might be something you need to do. Like I said, my controller works, you know, wired or wirelessly, but I definitely had to update it. Also, if you're like me, you're like, yo, I cannot hear anyone in the microphone. My controller doesn't work. I'm going to return this controller that I waited three months to get. You can go down to volume. Now, I had a mistake here. As you can see, my headset is currently plugged in on my Xbox. So since it's plugged in, I can click volume and I can turn my headset volume up. When you first plug in your, your scuff controller, everything is going to be reset to default. So maybe you might have an issue with it working wirelessly because your controller is set to default and you got to do the firmware update. Maybe your volume, like my volume was literally down to here when I first plugged in the controller. So I had to turn the volume up. So from there, you can just, you know, change your volume, change any settings you want. And, you know, it's all done there. Now, here's another pro tip. Um, if your headset is not plugged into your controller, as you'll notice here, let me go back. I go back to config, I go back to settings here. And look, now I cannot click on the volume tab. So now you're not able to adjust the settings on your, on your controller. So if you are having a volume issue, make sure you plug your headset in before you go to the screen and then you'll be able to adjust the volume. Um, like I said, um, other than that, guys, I've had my scuff controller for about a month now, uh, maybe two. I haven't had any issues yet. Um, stay tuned. There is going to be a full review video that I'm going to do on um, what it's like using the paddles and how much it's definitely changed my game. I can tell you that using the scuff controller, when it comes to my time to kill and like, you know, destroying people at Call of Duty Warzone, I've gotten so much better because I use all four paddles on this scuff. So I highly recommend scuff. I know I got a lot of comments um, earlier about the quality of scuff or if the scuff is going to last long enough. Um, right now, it's been working out for me. I've heard the Xbox Elite controller is a heavier controller and more heavy-duty uh, quality. I don't have an Xbox Elite controller, so I can't really compare the two. But so far, this controller has been good. I haven't changed any of the paddles or um, thumbsticks or paddles or anything yet. I haven't used any other you know adjustments on it other than my uh, bump stocks. So anyway, guys, I hope that video helped you out. Um, if you're still having troubles with your scuff controller, uh, leave a comment below and I will try to dive in and figure it out for you. Uh, if you got some value out of this, please give me a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.